Geneva, Switzerland, the venue for the 2008 International Aid and Trade event. Participants came from all over the world for the two days, organisations and individuals striving for more efficient and ultimately more effective humanitarian relief. Continuing under the theme, Building Partnerships for Relief and Development, the premise behind international aid and trade is that together we are stronger. This event enabled UN organisations, NGOs and aid agencies government and intergovernmental bodies, academics and the business community to integrate further and to identify and utilize common ground. The official opening was the launch pad for two highly successful days, making Aid and Trade 2008 the most successful ever. The wide variety of exhibition stands provided a popular setting for informal meetings and discussions. The products and services on display covered a vast range, creating interest with demonstrations and participant involvement at a number of stands. Specialised pavilions represented Asia, Africa, the UN, NGOs and IGOs. The constant stream of visitors confirming the genuine interest they were creating. The action wasn't only indoors, outside there was also plenty of activity, with the all-terrain vehicle demonstration attracting its share of attention. The workshop and learning centre sessions were moderated by a number of people, including two very experienced and respected media professionals, Kate Aidy and Brian Hanrahan, both formerly known internationally through their work on the BBC. The concept was for the moderators to direct the discussions and ensure pertinent issues are covered, and that discussions led towards agreements and commitments. The presence of the moderators also allowed participants the opportunity to direct questions to the panel and generate interactivity. Subjects covered a wide variety of topics including harnessing globalization, pre-disaster recovery planning, partnering for relief emergency preparedness and the popular topic of media and disasters. An innovative round table approach was introduced at this year's event this intimate style of covering the topic of shelter coordination resulted in a very lively discussion and exchange of points of view. Following all sessions, speakers kindly offered their time to individually chat with audience members, allowing participants direct access to sector leaders with whom they would not otherwise be able to contact directly. The provision of a number of meeting rooms and networking lounges guaranteed the required environment to advance discussions and consolidate understanding. The meet the buyers arrangement also proved popular with procurement managers meeting face to face with exhibiting companies in pre-arranged appointments, ensuring that buyers meet suppliers that are relevant to their specific agency needs. With the greater majority of attendees from overseas, the business centre, sponsored by Sony Vio, guaranteed everyone could stay in touch with those pressing matters back home. The coffee shop proved a constant focal point, allowing discussions to continue throughout the day in a relaxed, informal manner. This theme was continued into the cocktail reception held on the first evening. 
The setting was the spectacular Pacific Dome, allowing participants to gain an up-close appreciation of this exhibit. Once again, most people took advantage of the situation to continue business discussion in the casual, relaxed environment and to further cement new and established relationships. We see uh, Aid and Trade as the excellent uh, platform or networking opportunity to meet with our larger aid, UN and uh, NGO customers. The format of, uh, of the event is shaping up uh, year after year and I, I see really that uh, what we have been suggesting is being taken into account by the organizers. The big advantage for me is getting all the people I need to see in one room, in one place, which saves me months and months of actually going around and, and traveling to go and see those people. It's actually bringing over together who's decision makers and people who I need to speak to regularly on one day. It provides that opportunity to draw out issues and ideas that perhaps wouldn't necessarily be captured elsewhere. Aid and trade is partnerships. That's the theme we've been discussing this afternoon. And we've not only been discussing it, but from Fleet Forum point of view, we've actually initiated two very useful partnerships. It's been really good actually. Yeah, we've had a lot of interest in our shelter this year. Um, we were here for the first time last year, so we were just really here to see what the market was like. But uh, much more positive response this year, so we're really very pleased with, um, with the people that we've seen and the comments that we've had. Yeah, so we're delighted. We just wanted to bring a very advanced and very good enterprises from China uh, to uh, display their products during this great event. We have been very surprised. We came expecting to talk to suppliers and in fact have spent much more time uh, speaking to exhibitors who will be potential partners we hope. So it's been great. Yes, I mean, there's so, such a wide variety of people here and it makes it very interesting for us. We have the NGO uh, community, which are quite often users already of our products, but we also have the big vendors here, which might be also interested in our products for their, for their work. So on both sides, we have uh, users and prospects. So it's very good to be here. 2008 International Aid and Trade event has been a great experience for Pacific Domes. This is our first opportunity to, to participate in the event and the reception we've had from the organizers, the other exhibitors and the visitors has been tremendous. It's been an interesting event, it's a good opportunity to meet some potential students for our kind of range of programs, different types of people for our taught master's programs, distance learning and the MBA, so quite a range of different people, a range of different courses. Um, also I've kind of enjoyed the event from an academic perspective because I'm used to academic conferences. It was quite interesting to go to more of a kind of development industry conference, participate in some of the workshops and see things from a slightly different perspective. So that's been enjoyable and, and educational certainly for me. I think the workshops that happen, as we've just undertaken today, is a, is a great way of going beyond just looking at what some of the solutions are and who's doing what, to actually debating some of the issues. I think what would be very interesting is to see how we capture some of those and take them into the next fora. I think that the, there is a, a certain degree of confidence uh, to talk business, which, was, which is much less stressful than it was in the past. Oh, it's been a good experience. It's our first time here at Aid and Trade, and it gave us an introduction to the how it works here, the various competitors, and uh, a really good mission. So we've got a lot out of it. Absolutely, some great contacts. It's been very good. We've been very, very happy with the turnout, both of our existing customers and also of new customers. It's been very well organized, and uh, yeah, we've been very, very pleased with the turnout. I watched as some of the uh, dialogues were going on here at the uh, at the event. I was watching both the exchange of goods and services, but I was watching also the exchange of ideas, and that to me is really exciting. One of the things I'm increasingly hearing is respect for this event within the sector, from the professionals who are full-time in this area. So that was the 2008 event. We've had some fantastic exhibitors here. We've had some really good speakers. There's been some fantastic partnerships built, and we're looking forward to 2009.